<laughs> singing in a choir, you know, it's scientifically proven to be healthy, yeah. you know. So the choir is, it releases substances in your body that you feel happier and it becomes like a, an hour in the week where you can forget all your troubles and just be. Integration through singing. Could it work? To find out, we have to go back in time a few years. This is Sweden, a country in the most northern part of Europe. We have always had a lot of immigration to our nation through all times of history, with some peaks like in the beginning of the 1900s, after World War II, and the latest peak in 2014 and 15, when many refugees took shelter in Sweden. When people arrived to our country, they had to stay in designated places until they got approved or not approved to stay. But many refugees waited years before they got their decision. Almost nine years ago, I, I started a choir in a refugee camp because I, by incident, actually came to the refugee camp and I was very touched by all the people who lived there and they had nothing to do and they were very depressed and sad and just waited to see if they could stay in the country or not. Which country do you come from? Uh, from uh, Kurdistan. 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 Uh, the part of Iran. Part of Iran? Yes. Okay. And you came to Sweden when? 2015. I'm Sep uh, September 2015. singing in this choir, not now, but you were singing before? Yeah, unfortunately not now. I'm busy with, with the family and I don't have uh, the talent for this. So, oh. Yeah, but I, uh, I was with them when, when I lived in Greetan. How have the choir helped you uh, establish yourself in Sweden and also helped you with the Swedish language? Yeah, a lot, a lot. That, that wasn't just a choir for me. That was like a school for uh, for a Swedish language and for for contact to to the um, community. Yeah, it's like community, community and uh, and uh, Swedish people. So yeah. the choir means a lot for me. Yeah. And you were a lot of different nationalities. You're from Iran. Uh, there were like Syrian, Somalia, Afghanistan, Afghanistan, Iraq. Eritrea. Yeah. I'm happy. I'm very happy with that because, uh, as as you said, I have now I have a lot of friends from from uh, different culture and different country, and it's so beautiful. So we wanted to contribute with something, and we work with choir, so it was very easy for us to to start a choir out there. So we just decided to let's try it out, and uh, then let's see if they come, and they came. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, we started the choir at the camp, so there was only refugees who was taking part, and then me and the conductor. Yeah. So and they they were about 500 people living out there. So maybe between like 20 to 100 came every oh. week. So we were quite a few already it's right away from the start. Yeah. But now it's a mix between sort of uh, native Swedish people and immigrants. Uh, <laughs> To, to Sweden in the choir. Yeah. Exactly. And it's been like that for a few years. Yeah, actually, already at the refugee camp, people started to become curious and they wanted to come out. Like, so they, people from our other choirs that we have with only Swedes, more or less, they wanted to join and they came out in the woods and they, they noticed they had fun together and suddenly they became friends with the refugees and then offered them their networks so they, they could find like trainee spots and they could find jobs and even apartments and things like that and thanks to the new network that just happened without our involvement we just like started the choir and they came and they met and then they built this network together
it could have been more or less anything, you know. Yeah. It could have been wrestling or whatever. A football but, team. A football or, team, but yeah. but choir is uh, it's very good because everyone can join. Yeah. Like you can be in a wheelchair or you can, you know, as long as you have a voice. You can be 11 years old or yeah. 82 years yeah. old. Yeah. And uh, we also realized that when singing only in Swedish, we also learned. They learned the language really quick. Yeah, you, you sing most of your songs in Sweden, Swedish, right? Ninety-nine percent. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah and th that's there's a the, the point is to to help to learn Swedish. You are singing in the choir. Yes. Yeah, and you are from. I'm from Thailand, Sawadika. <laughs> <laughs> and you came to Sweden because you met a man from Sweden. Yes. Yes. What have you learned in the choir? I learned Swedish uh, from the song. Now we are singing yeah. together with another friend. Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you probably you have a lot of friends in the choir right now. Yes, I have a lot and many. And From many different countries. Different country, and I love them. Right now, I think we're about seventy people, yeah. like who are in the choir, and uh, I would say from around about twenty. Countries. Twenty countries. Yeah, yeah. All the Swedes, like myself and my family, we have grown so much, learned so much uh, about different cultures, and and just feel. Uh, feel like we have a meaning in life and more happy than ever thanks to have this huge community around us. Jonas have written a book and it's a book released today. That's why we are here. Here it is. There's a few left. It's called uh, Vi är vårt land which would translate to like, we are our own country, or we, yeah, are, the, we, are, we are the country. We are the country, maybe, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. And it's uh, about the whole trip, like from we started at the refugee camp in 2015, and then this choir has taken us, as I said, to, to the national arenas, and with some of the, we have been singing with some of the biggest stars in, in the country. So it tells this story, but it also tells a story about six people in the choir. Their story from leaving their home country. Some of them have been taking boats across the Mediterranean and almost drowning and how they survived. And uh, it takes, the story takes them to Grytan where the refugee camp was. And then I, we tell what happened with them. And some of them had a good experience and uh, are still here in Sweden and some are somewhere else. Ah. Yeah. Okay. So it's uh, it's uh, happy and sad, interesting and fun. This is only in Swedish. Right now, it's only in Swedish. I, I, we never know what happens. I, I have stopped saying that it, things will not happen because my boundaries of what can happen has disappeared. So yeah. you never know. And of course, I will put the link down in the description where you can get the book. I have the Swedish word of today in my videos. The Swedish word of today. Yeah, it could be anything. Oh my God. Uh, mångfald. Mångfald. Yeah. And in English? Diversity, or? Diversity. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. And people will say that multicultural things don't work. Yeah. Well, they haven't tried them. <laughs> no, they haven't tried it. <laughs>